I'm taking soil samples from the site. The soil samples are about 10 liters in volume. And then I go through a process called flotation. And it's a simple procedure where we dump the soil into water and the carbonized organic material floats to the surface where the rock, bone, ceramics, and all the rest of the material sinks. That stuff that flows to the surface, we then decant off and collect it through a 0.35 millimeter geological sieve. And that goes back to America where I look at it under a microscope. And based on the morphology of the individual carbonized materials, we can determine which plants grew in the area and which plants people were eating at the site in the past. And interestingly, we also have some arboreal crops such as peaches. And peaches are a crop that's originating in China, in East Asia, but we know very little about the actual spread of many of these crops. So when we think of the Silk Road, most people associate it with the spread of silk and other precious items, but it also led to the globalization of many of our modern foods that spread from either East Asia to Europe or from Europe to East Asia.